Now, here's something that can be added to the pile of crimes committed by the imperialist United States. The CIA Inspector General's office says that it accidentally destroyed a 6,700-page report on torture that was being carried out by U.S. soldiers in various capacities. Now, that's right. They accidentally destroyed the proof or the internal documents regarding the use of torture. The 6,700-page report contains secret files about the CIA's use of enhanced interrogation methods, including waterboarding, sleep deprivation, and other aggressive interrogation techniques at black site prisons overseas. Now, while that was never made public, there was a 500-page executive summary, and that's a long, long executive su uh, summary, that was released to the public in 2014. Now, Christopher R. Sharpley, the CIA's acting inspector general, alerted the Senate intelligence that his copy of it had just mysteriously vanished from his office. Oh, that's right, his copy, the one that he had for his own records, well, it just mysteriously disappeared, and we don't know what happened to it, and he doesn't know what happened to it. And a lot of this investigation was being pushed by Senator Dianne Feinstein, who uh, was really was the driving force behind the 2014 report. And now she's calling for the CIA Inspector General to obtain a new copy of the report to replace the one that had disappeared. I mean, I don't think there's really anybody out there who really believes that the CIA just accidentally destroyed something that would show its complicity in illegal acts, particularly something as heinous as torture. I mean, the United States government has basically all but admitted that torture has been going on, not just domestically uh, inside Guantanamo Bay, but various CIA black sites around the world, which there is absolutely no oversight for whatsoever. The crimes of the U.S. empire are far, far-reaching, and they go well beyond simple torture. But having some kind of documentation of the crimes being committed by U.S. imperialism overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly against innocent people who are not even accused of a crime is something very important that needs to be kept. Records of the crimes committed by the imperialists is very important. Now, I'm no liberal. I don't advocate any kind of going easy on anybody for stuff like this. But I do think it's very important. I would personally support a trial against people who have committed these war crimes. The George Bushes, the, the Barack Obamas, the Donald Trumps, everything right down to the guy who was actually holding the bucket of water, pouring it over the face of some innocent person. I say put them on trial and broadcast that trial to the entire world. Take every awful, evil deed that these people have ever committed and broadcast it to the entire world. Let the whole world see how awful these people are. Let them see the real face, unfiltered, no propaganda, the real, unpolished face of U.S. imperialism. Let them see those crimes. And this is nothing more than a crime itself. It is nothing more than a crime to simply just lose the documents, which details all that. I don't think anybody buys that whatsoever. This was, uh, of course, we don't have 100% proof that it was an accident. But I don't think anybody believes that. I don't believe that. I'm pretty sure that was done intentionally. That's my opinion. But once again, I mean, what can we really expect from this government? What can we really expect from the imperialist empire? They are going to do things like this. They are going to try to cover up the crimes that they've committed. They are going to assassinate people who will testify against them. They will destroy entire countries and kill millions of people who simply don't agree with being under their thumb. So what makes us think that something as simple as destroying a few documents is something that's beyond them to do? Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.